So that's the first coat of black paint on the waterline. Uh, Florante is just going over any imperfections with some body filler and then he'll put a second coat of black uh, along the waterline mark. Randy, what's that black uh, waterline like? That's good. Smooth? Man, it's sm it looks as smooth as silk, eh? Shiny. Very shiny. Beautiful, eh? I know it looks a little bit strange, but the reason we've done that is because you remember the shit that would come out of the exhaust outlet on the right-hand side, you know, and it was dirty water. It didn't look very nice, eh? Yeah, yeah. So that, that was the reason for uh, having this black section uh, painted like that. But uh, they've also completed the uh, black water line that's now had a second coat and a polish I think it still might need a top coat I'm not sure I'll need to ask Florante but I mean it's it's really smooth eh? yeah. it's absolutely fantastic like a glass. it's like glass yeah for sure absolutely wow yeah they've done a good job with that I'm impressed. You can use it as a mirror. <laughs> you can use it as a mirror. <laughs> Pretty much could, huh? Eh? Wow. Very nice. As you can see, <laughs> I'm looking at the black uh, waterline, and you can actually see yourself in this. It's absolutely amazing. So it is. So uh, you can expect the, the white, when they get to do the white, it's going to be pretty much the same. Yep, awesome job. Okay, so what are we doing today then, Rand? We are install the propeller, sir. Now this is a new propeller. New propeller, yeah. yeah, so this propeller is the same pitch and diameter as the one we took off. Mm. However, the blades are larger, yeah? Larger. They're, all, larger. they're larger and they're a different design. So this was a spare propeller uh, that the previous owners had. Mm. Now, whether they had intentions of fitting this in the future, I don't know. But uh, we're going to fit this. And I'm hoping that uh, when we go to do sea trials, we'll get an improvement in speed mm. and hopefully less cavitation and vibration in the lower rev range, uh, which we were experiencing. Remember, Rand, you know, when we kick it into <coughs> gear, the engine starts yeah. to vibrate quite badly until we reach 1000 RPM and then it all smooths out. So hopefully with this new propeller and the design of it it should eliminate that but we won't know until we do the sea trials that's a rattling good fit randy a rattling mm. good fit <laughs> okay that looks all right eh? That's tight. Okay, that's the uh, propeller securely in place. And uh, as we say, we won't know the performance of this propeller in relation to the engine until we go out on our sea trials. So this morning, <laughs> it's 6.15 uh, a.m. And this is the morning we're gonna attempt to uh, change out the shaft seal. We're having to cut off the old uh, rubber hose. Okay, it's coming away there. That's good. Okay, excellent stuff. Okay, 
that actually came away a bit easier than we thought. Surprised. Okay, we'd run into a bit of a problem here. Uh, the bellows fits on there, nice, no problem. However, the rotor, or rotator, whatever you want to call it, uh, <laughs> is a bit too tight for the shaft uh, by at least a millimeter. Uh, we've tried pushing it on and that is about as far as it's going to go uh, without hammering it on, which <laughs> we can't do. Uh, what we're going to have to do now is kick into plan B. Uh, we'll dismantle this. Uh, we'll seal up the stern tube. And I think we're going to have to look at lifting up the engine uh, to pull the shaft out from the inside and uh, get this shaft to a machine shop where uh, they can machine it uh, and at least take half a millimetre off anyway uh, because this rotor although it's tight it should still be able to slide on uh, using your, your, your hand basically uh, anyway yeah bit of a dilemma uh, anyway take it from there okay situation now is <laughs> uh, yeah 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 if it doesn't rain it pours uh, okay we've had to plug up the stern tube uh, with a bit of hose and a very large wooden bung and an assortment of jubilee clips so should hold quite confident that'll hold uh, it's all pretty much a tight fit so uh, but we'll come back on a high tide uh, just to make sure uh, everything's okay yesterday the guys were buffing and grinding on the deck area and uh, down aft here next to the uh, rudder post uh, they discovered some corrosion and you can clearly see uh, a hole there <laughs> A large hole uh, yeah good find glad they found it now uh, guys will probably well need to make a patch for that and uh, strengthen that area up so yeah okay oh good so the guys will weld that patch on and then you can see there's a bit of a dip in the deck here uh, they'll fill all that in with their body filler after the welding and the primer paint's been applied so uh, yeah you, you won't even see this so the guys have patched up the hole uh, it's not the prettiest but uh, at least it's effective it'll do the job uh, they'll put the body filler on the deck and uh, we'll, we'll put some filler in here also uh, there's no leaks coming from it anyway but uh, yeah good job yep once the body filler goes on you'll never know great job so now that you've put the galva coat on yeah, yeah. Florante yeah. Uh, over the top of this you're going to be putting in the body filler no 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 we still have to and thick erosion of the ah right so there's another primer right primer goes on top of this okay all right it's good stuff let's hope it doesn't rain today so the guys have applied the, uh, the green primer a bit darker than the other stuff but uh, yeah there's a change every day yeah After our uh, <laughs> attempts to fit the new dry, sh dry shaft seal uh, was unsuccessful, uh, we do need to take the shaft out and get it remachined. So what we did last couple of days 
uh, we removed the old one and uh, I took it to a machine shop because one of the stainless steel studs uh, had sheared uh, in this piece so we got that repaired retapped so Randy and I are going to reinstall this uh, instead of leaving the bung in <laughs> which is not good practice it's done the job uh, but it's not good practice I'm going to reinstate the old system uh, until such times as we can uh, lift the engine and pull the shaft out uh, from the inside uh, I don't want to do that until the guys are all finished on deck uh, buffing, grinding, painting so uh, once that's completed then uh, we'll look at taking off the cockpit roof, uh, engine room roof in the cockpit there and uh, lift the engine well we'll see what time frame we have uh, to do this job but yeah we're going to reinstate this today uh, Old Faithful we've managed to buy some new packing which is good and uh, yeah we'll just see uh, see how that goes eh? it'll, it'll hold but uh, old tried and tested method you can't really go wrong with this <laughs> so uh, we better get cracking well when you think it couldn't get any worse uh, <laughs> the guys have uh, were buffing and grinding yesterday and uh, we suspected there was a bit of a weak patch here but not as bad as that ay 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 so uh, it's going to be a big patch for this one for sure but uh, rather we found that now than later well Chisamba now has a multitude of colours but uh, it's progress in Florante. <laughs> she is looking rather colourful. But uh, yeah, all good, all good. After all the activity going on down at the boatyard, it was time to get busy in my own backyard. I have two steel scuba cylinders to inspect and test for a customer of mine. Hi, hello guys. Uh, it's another week over. <laughs> uh, busy time again, especially down at the yard, as you've seen in the video. Uh, Chisamba's got more holes in her uh, than a salt cellar. So, <laughs> salt cellar, you know what a salt cellar is? You know what the holes in the top of a salt pot? Uh, that's what we call it in the UK anyway, a salt cellar. Okay, so for those of you that don't understand what a salt cellar is, it's basically a salt dispenser with all the little holes in the top so uh, yeah but they're being repaired uh, as you see so uh, thankfully that should be done uh, next week the, next week they might even start top coat gloss maybe maybe we don't know yet Ooh. we'll see we'll see anyway this week we've got something special something different uh, this week we are running a small competition, okay, where the winner can win this exclusive limited edition Fury Marine uh, t-shirt, okay. Now, we will post this out to the first person who answers our question correctly doesn't matter where you live in the world we will post it out using the fantastic philippine postal service right i will have it registered promise we will send it whether you get it or not is a different matter but at least we will send it okay <laughs> so and the question is okay the question is we would like to know what the actual word chasamba actually means okay you might even be pronouncing it wrong no don't give it no 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 no, no. <laughs> you'll give the game away okay, okay you will that, that, that's just too too big a clue chasamba chasamba okay 
if that's not a clue, I don't know what is. But uh, anyway, uh, a big thank you to all our Patreons and big thank you to all our subscribers. Oh. Oh. Hang on a minute. Right, okay. Speaking well. of subscribers. Yes. We would like to thank think, Tess. Think or thank? Thank. Okay, thank. <laughs> Sometimes we would like to think, but. You're not from not New Zealand. <laughs> We're not successful at times thinking. Okay, so we've got these from two of our subscribers, Tess and Klaus. Thank you so much for the curry. Yes, Ooh. thank you guys. Much appreciated. Curry. Curry. Ooh, curry. So, uh, yeah, big thank you guys. Uh, very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, take care out there. Eh? And uh, stay safe. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Slange. Slange. Slange.